Hello humans, Master Dinner Flags here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve, and today I'll be going over, um, post-Savage Strike, uh, Trickstar. Now, the reason I wanted to go over this is because I tested with a new card coming out, Carabine, a while ago, and I noticed, like, you had some really cool interactions with it and Instant Fusion into Pallades, um... And, like, I just wanted to test some things with it. And it was actually a really, really powerful card for the Trick Stars. Like, it really helped them out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it so you guys can see what I'm working with. Triple Candina, Double Lycris. Um, I had to make a cut somewhere. And uh, because this deck has Sky Strikers in it, uh, uh, something needed to be cut. And cutting down on Lycris made sense. Um... You can also recycle it with the new field spell, so it's not like having three is really that important anymore. One Lily Bell, it's also a recycler. It's it's weird because it feels like redundancy. Um, like live stage feels like redundancy. However, um, Lily Bell is more of like something you just want to summon. Uh, it's recycling is only handy when you're pushing for game because it does it in the battle phase while this is immediate so you can establish. But yeah, uh, you still need Lily Bell. And one Carabine. You only realistically need one. You could play more, but it's not a piece that you just want to draw. It's a piece you only want to search. And if you don't know what it does, because we were supposed to have it like a year and a half ago, um, if you only control Trick Stars or you control no monsters at all, you can just special summon it. Um, and in the hand... It's a hand, it's an honest for the archetype. You can discard it, target a trick star, it gains double its original attack. Um, you, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's also a level 5 light for instant fusion into Pallades. And the reason I wanted to go over that is I'll explain soon. Uh, but pretty much Pallades is actually a really strong card in this deck. Um, both reactively and proactively. And then Droll, because this is Trick Star and you have three Reincarnation. I don't know why. And then three Ash Blossom. That's not all the hand traps. And then finally Impermanence. Um, Trick Star just love to fill their deck with hand traps because there's not much else they can put in there. And then for spells, three Light Stage, one Live Stage. Um, it This feels kind of win more. But at the same time, it, it's probably going to come up more often than I think. But... The only time I used it, it was okay. It was like just activating another light stage. Except it's not a card you want to start with. It's like a mid-game kind of card. Um, so that's why there's only one in here in the first place. I don't know. It just... It feels kind of win more. But at the same time, it is it is pretty strong resolving just the recycle. Um, and then three called by the grave. Uh, I think every deck should be running this. I think this card is too powerful. Literally too powerful. I don't think it should be at 3, but... Um, while it is at 3, I think every deck should play it. 3 Instant Fusion. Uh, something I noticed um, is Trick Stars have a really rough time with Thunder Dragons. So even if you're not making the Pallades play, you can always just go into uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict and get rid of at least one of their threats. Um... Which is why there's triple impermanence and a card you're about to see later. Just to help with... You'll have nine cards against Colossus, which is super helpful. Double Scapegoat, the win condition. Two Terraforming, it's only at two. And then... Uh, engage, sorry, eight outs to the uh, Colossus. Triple Engage. Double Widow Anchor, there's another out to Colossus. Not to mention in some of the Pallades plays. Uh, you'll only have it and no other monsters, so you can like... Back it up with Widow Anchors and Hand Traps. And then it itself is a disruption. So that's really cool. Uh, one Afterburners. Uh, just another search target. It's kind of... It, it's alright. Um, I guess you could play a third Widow Anchor if you want 9 outs to uh, Colossus. And then one Hornet Drones because it's only at 1. And then triple Impermanence and triple Reincarnation. I don't want to play 2 because I just love discarding this card with Nightmares. It's a much... I, I, unless I have Droll in hand, I almost never set this. Um, this is always just, like, a Mizuki for me. But, like, I'll set it, but I'll never use it just to burn. I think that's dumb. It doesn't get you anywhere, and sometimes it helps your opponent. Anything that's just, like, flip a coin or any kind of reload or magical mallet card you're giving to your opponent is always not something you want to do unless you have something to go with it, like the Droll 
or you're just ending the game with Lycoris. Otherwise, it's not really that helpful. But at the at that same time, just like it being a Mizuki in the grave is why it's at three in here. And then side deck doesn't matter. Extra deck Pallades, and then the instant fusion target into Pallades. Um, this can also just let itself die and blow up a card. Um, you can do that with it. But um, light stage. Um, I believe it's Light Stage, um, Instant Fusion, and Candina is, like, Light Stage, Candina is obviously very good, but if you're, if you have Light Stage, Candina, and then Instant Fusion, you do the exact same thing, but you end on Pallades, and Pallades can recycle your Light Stage, it can recycle your Candina, um, and at the same time, you'll have it for your opponent's turn to either break what they're doing, or if they didn't do anything uh, threatening, you can just bounce, bounce light stage again to use it again. Like, there's a lot of utility with Pallades in here. Um, just because all your stuff, none of it's a once per turn anywhere, so you just activate it again and again and again and again. And a card that just bounces spells and traps in a deck that can really use that is very strong. Um... And then Thousand Eyes Restrict as the other instant fusion target. Outs Colossus. Um, only one Kagari because I needed to make room for the Pallades. Like, it, maybe the Pallades is way more, but I really like it in here. It's a really cool tech option. Uh, Shizuku and Hayate. Um, Hayate for going second. And it's just a good piercing guy. Or gal, I should say. Holy Angel. Um, it just takes two trick stars. Um, Link Karibo. Uh, Link Spider, Nightmares, Drisbania, Boral Load, and Boral Sword. And yeah, just all a bunch of scapegoat targets. Um, so yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, if I guess I'll go ahead and go into the plays play. Let's say you have Light Stage. You activate it. Okay, you have Light Stage Candina. Activate it. Go search this. Normal Summon Candina. Search this. Special Summon this. Activate Instant Fusion. Um... Summon Panzer Dragon, Overlay Carabine, and, um, what's it called? Overlay Carabine and, uh, the Panzer Dragon into Pallades. Go ahead and bounce your field spell, activate it again, get another search, whether you want Lycoris or whatnot. And then, since you have Candina on the field, you can just bounce them both. Um, and sometimes you can also just search, uh, uh, Reincarnation if you have Droll. But if you do that, you're going to want to bounce Candina to your hand instead of uh, Light Stage, unless you have, uh, what's it called? It all depends. Like, there's so many variations of this combo, but if you, like, draw Instant Fusion with pretty much your engine, um, you can make Pallades, and Pallades can get you a bunch of extra cards for free, while at the same time being a disruption. So, yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching, and remember, Master Dinnerflex will take your soul.